my love is everlasting ever. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all, set the revenue bank and new this video will definitely be notified. New news guys, at the hearing of Matro Boxing, I stated that His Excellency Turki Alashik has now expressed a desire to do a two fight deal for Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua in future, which would see one happen in Saudi Arabia and one for UK fans at the Wembley Stadium. Well, this is looking very interesting. If this was to come from a regular basically guy i would say yeah i mean I don't know, that's just them talking but turkey alashik the head the chairman of uh the saudi uh, saudi sports uh, team or sports organization sports committee the backbone of riyadh season is a very influential man if not the i think he's the most influential man in boxing right now I see this fight happening. I don't know when. I don't know if Fury will step in the ring um, to fight on Joshua. He will for the right price. But money is not something that the Saudi wouldn't be able to afford. When it, the price, I mean. Good news for boxing. There's still a long way ahead though. Fury, Usyk has to take place, I think twice. Then Joshua has to keep winning. He has to keep the momentum going because I don't think Joshua will have to will be waiting for Fury, Usyk, winner. Like basically, if let's say after the after the after their first fight, good. If this if the second fight is scheduled to take place somewhere around maybe in December, Joshua would have been on a very long layoff, which is not nice for his continuous improvement and development or let's say improvement because Joshua keeps improving and uh, activity is a big part of his game the active it is the more active it is the more tricks he pulls out of the bag but if he keep if he goes back to fighting once a year or twice a year then we'll start seeing disaster again I think Joshua has to be an, a throwback fighter, which he's always been. Adewale, your take on this, bro. Do you see this fight happening? Although I am excited about a potential AJ versus Fury fight, because that would be such a good fight. And let me put this caveat. Hopefully, Fury comes out with the victory over Usyk and does it in a dominant fashion then i'll be more excited about fury versus aj but then again like you said there is a there is a good chance fury versus usik one and two are going to take place in 2024 potentially late 2024 and then there might be a mandatory well, at the end of the day, if the belts scatter all over the place, as far as there is still one title with the winner of Fury Usyk, then it'll make sense for AJ to fight for that title. But also, there is a good chance that AJ might be fighting Herkovic for the IBF title. Like, there are so many moving parts at this point that, although the news coming out from Eddie Hearn saying, Turk Alashik, who, by the way, is extremely influential in boxing in 2024. There is supposed to be excitement from us, the boxing fans. But at the same time, understanding how boxing business works this day and age, you know you don't have to overhype yourself in terms of excitement. There is a good chance that pronouncement is not going to come to fruition because there are so many moving parts. There is a good chance that Tyson Fury might struggle against Usyk and get come out with a slight, 
a, a victory with a slight margin and then he might be scared to fight AJ. It's possible. So I'm not going to get overly excited. But if it happens, I will surely be happy. And then I, I'll let you speak about the uh, the finances. If Turkey Alashek will be putting up the money for a potential Fury versus Usyk at Wembley Stadium, what is the incentive for Saudi Arabia and Turkey Alashek? Because to me, that just sounds like blabbing i'm just being honest i'm not trying to be disrespectful but if there is no financial benefit for the saudis and turk then i really don't see that happening i i don't need to be getting excited unnecessarily that has happened so many times one to me as a saudi fan. one in the when, one at wembley bro first yeah one the one in saudi it, sounds more realistic the one, but the, the first, wembley the first one i don't think so saudi. But the one in Wembley can also take place, bro. Like literally, they just have to put up the money, and they wouldn't be. They don't have to expect a lot of gains because UK fans are don't pay a lot, you know, for for boxing. They support boxing, but they don't pay too much. Basically, they they even complain when the pay per view is like nineteen pounds, right? Yeah. They even complain about that, so they don't have the money, bro. Or they have the money, but I mean, they, are, they are most greedy uh, in for. Okay, UK boxing fans can support boxing. They support they support boxers a lot, but when it comes to paying, uh, I mean paying for their services when they become bigger, they don't tend to want to do that. They can afford it, but they don't tend to want to do that, bro. They are like uh, no, no, bro. I wouldn't say they can afford uh, it to be honest, because uh, it's uh, not that uh, easy, uh, man. Uh, Americans. Americans, if they want to see a great fight, they pay for it, bro. If America, yeah, if Americans if, have that culture. They have more of that culture, though. You know, of spending money on entertainment and stuff like that. Maybe it's not the same way in the UK, bro. And bro, they are, they are bro, more the, wealthier bro, people in bro, America bro, than the bro, UK. The so. UK spend a lot of money on on watching football, bro, or what you guys call soccer in America in uh, in Canada there, or in uh, North America. Let me just say. This, you know how much they spend on, 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 on football? Go watch football. You know how much they spend on tickets? Sometimes some of them will travel outside the UK, like to various countries in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in in Europe to watch maybe Champions League, for example. The UK fans are football crazy. They're just not boxing crazy like that. Like Americans are sports crazy. The funny man, thing is americans don't even spend that much on, on boxing like it's bro, just a few percentage of america look at the pay-per-view of in america look at the amount the, the, uh, the amount eighty dollars hundred dollars so so the, the uk fans they, they complain of 19 pounds bro yeah but bro come to think about I it mean, man the, I mean, the world I, economy I, I, is I, suffering I, well I, no 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 that was before the before before covid before this things but they've always complained that's fine <laughs> How can you be a uh, boxing? Listen, how can you have two of the the two of, if two, two of one two of the best fighters from your country and not put up the money for it? Like, I mean, not support it. What 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 two what two fighters are you referring to when you say two of the best? Well, two of the best fighters in the from you and in the UK are Joshua Fury or not? I mean, oh, oh in the in the heavyweight division. Heavyweight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely Fury and AJ are top three. Joshua and top also three, Joshua. Four. Joshua is the biggest name in the UK. Basically, Joshua has more following in the UK than every other boxer from the UK. Fact. Does he? Yeah, he does. He I'm does. not sure about that. Of course he does, bro. What do you mean? Who has bro? Joshua has more Fury, following. bro. No, Tyson no. Fury rose. Fury, jo without a doubt, AJ was the biggest name. Up until bro, the Fury World look trilogy. At their, look at their following. Bro. So I don't know about now. I look don't know at, about now, bro. Look because at their following, bro. Look at their following. Look at their following. Are you talking about social media following, bro? Let's let's keep social media aside. Now check the endorsement from both from the UK coming from the UK. Bro, Fury have. Fury I'm not. Have, I'm not sure about their endorsement, but this bro, is the this is the fact saying. that I need to point out. This is the fact that I need to point out. In recent times in the UK, between Joshua and Fury, who has done bigger numbers in the UK? Well, 
It's Fury. Fury because Joshua lost and twice to Usyk and then the ball, the people thought it was finished. The UK. You know what about the UK is that, huh? Okay, if, well, one, one if, question. You, you just made a good point, but I need to ask one question. So yeah. what, what is the evidence that Joshua is bigger than Fury right now? If the most recent numbers that they both did, Fury did more numbers, then how come Joshua is back on top without any evidence? Now, if you think, now if they, look, they are next fight, if their next fight is in the UK, huh? we to be in the UK. Okay, the Usyk factor might play a part because they're undisputed. But let's say they are, let's, let's say, both of them are fighting uh, regular boxers. Okay, let's forget about yeah. the name. Let's let's say, let's say both of them are fighting. People will attend the Joshua fight than they will they would have Fury fight. It's just the fact. As I right now, as yeah. I right now, yeah, yeah. Well, in from my own demography, absolutely. The I last, would rather attend if a, a, a Joshua fight and Fury fight. But, me but, personally. But, but but before 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 the gun fight, the, before the Joshua gun fight, they would probably have attended the Fury fight because they would think the show is finished. Oh, you know? now I see what you're saying. So basically, it's it's just an opinion. You're just stating an opinion that based on Joshua's performance against Gano. He's back on top bro, as the most popular bro, heavyweight bro, in the UK. Bro, Joshua Fury has been Fury has been in the game longer than Joshua. You know that in the UK, but he wasn't selling out stadiums. Joshua made that a culture. Basically, Carl Frost sold sold Wembley, a Wembley Stadium, which we still talk about it today. But Joshua sold. He made listen. He made selling out stadium a culture. Nah, Facts. bro, bro. That was back then. That was back then, bro. What You're you talking about then? three, four years ago, man. Bro, bro, the last bro. time AJ fought in the UK, he fought in O2 Arena. Bro, bro why I'm didn't just, he fight in the I stadium? Said, if I if said. he truly made it a culture, then how come he didn't fight in? Some I understand. Sometimes we boxing fans were extremely sentimental towards our bro, favorite fans. Bro, but bro, me, I'm just trying to be logical Joshua, and Joshua, I'm just trying to state facts. Joshua's talk went down, um, because of his post fight antics you know the one that uh, of uh, Usyk remember? Usyk the Usyk rematch where he literally just you know I don't know what happened to him but you can tell he was suffering mentally okay then he had to go and rebuild I listen I never gave up on Joshua I never gave up on his ability to come back I just said listen I just knew that he was trying to change himself to a fighter he's not like you cannot change yourself to to a fighter you are not that's why i like what ben davison is doing even though when it was announced that there's a new trainer on the show i like hey, for me it was a little bit strange right yeah i don't know about you for you i don't know like like i don't know i cannot pinpoint the when you hear the name ben davison ben davison he's not romantic uh like <laughs> robert garcia you know, um, Derek Lewis, um, let's see, uh, was an Emmanuel Stewart. The big American, the big American names. I, I'm not, you know what I mean, Derek James. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. It just look like a high school teacher, bro. Like, I mean, he, the, the, name, <laughs> the, the, the name Ben Davidson is not really romantic or attractive in bo for boxing. It's like a high school teacher, like the name yeah. high school teacher. Yeah, the name Ben Davidson. Like, you're thinking you're a high school teacher, right? Yeah. But that's why when he took, you know, and the guy is very young, maybe because he's young. He's so, young, yeah, he's young. You know, not like not like a Rob, Rob McCracken. At least you know something is dead, right? Go crack your head for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like you know something like that so yeah yeah but but what one thing i like about ben davison is that he's not changing joshua he's making him um i don't know how to say it but he's like he's making him do what he's supposed to do in fights instead of being afraid or being or thinking like you know, you know what i mean mm. So it's just I, no. I mean, AJ has been with Ben Davidson with um, Otto Wallin and Francis Ngannou, right? Or was he there with Elenius? No, no, no. Otto Wallin and Francis Ngannou, yeah. But man, honestly, bro, like my Ojo always says, and I've learned a lot from beast boxing. 
you know, I've learned how to control my emotion and, and just to see things for what they are before coming to a conclusion. Mayo Joe always said that he doesn't believe that Tyson Fury is the best fighter. I would always argue with him that Fury was the best fighter. But right now, it's debatable. So Mayo Joe was correct. The same way I'm not going to jump the gun and say Ben Davison is excellent for AJ. Because Ben Davison has only been with AJ when AJ fought against Otto Wallin. Womb was his former sparring partner. Womb he had defeated multiple times in the past. And he was with AJ against an MMA fighter. So I'm not going to jump the gun and say that Ben Davidson will be good enough for AJ when he's fighting Fury, for example, in the future. Or any other top heavyweight, right? But I feel like Ben Davidson at the same time is proven. He has been in the corner of top guys like Devin Haney. You know, he has been in the corner of Tyson Fury in the past and some other UK fighters. So Davidson is proven to a large extent at the same time. But I'm not just going to go ahead and give give them all the praises in the world because they defeated a former sparring partner and an MMA fighter. I'm not going to do that. Hey man, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in this fight. But I, I see something different though. I see mm. in Joshua, I see something different. I see that the, his, his, his act of defense is different from, from before. You know what I mean? He defend yeah, with his. He definitely with, looks good. He, he defend, looks. He, he defend. <laughs> if you notice something, he defend with his with his feet now instead of with his hands. Mm. Be, 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 he defend with his feet by moving out of dangerous situation. He know he will be like he will be, basically. He moves out quickly before he is in. The, it is, is in. The, he gets in a dangerous situation. More yeah. often than not, I can. Bro, watch those fight, the Otto Wallen fight. Just watch how it is. He's no, no, great... that Otto Wallen performance, man, that was clean. That was masterful. That was so good, man. I, I, oh my god, I was so impressed in that performance against Otto Wallen. I'm not even going to deny. AJ looked like a real, like the real deal. But then again, we also have to remember that, you know, it's Otto Wallen, and he knows Otto Wallen. You know, they fought multiple times in the past former sparring partners. He had victories, multiple victories over Otto Wallen in the amateur days. So he's someone that he knows very well, right? So, but yeah, AJ has definitely improved without without a doubt. Um, he's, you said something earlier also that AJ has to remain consistent. He has to keep on fighting multiple times. In 2024, I expect AJ to have at least two more fights. He needs to push for two more fights. One in the summer, one in December, maybe. If that can happen, even if it's a soft touch, maybe he's not able to get his hands on the world title. But just go get a soft touch, bro. Fight anybody. Keep the ball rolling. Because it seems like AJ needs that activity. And he he has a very, very good chance of becoming the best heavyweight of this era. When they are all retired, he might turn out being number one in this era. If he can go ahead and defeat Fury Usyk winner, and maybe add a few more scabs to his resume. If he can go ahead and defeat the 41 year old Deontay Wilder, by that time Wilder will be like 41, and AJ won. <laughs> That's what he wanted, anyways. He said it back in the days, like eight years ago, that I will fight Wilder when I know I will win Wilder. And he has done it. So if that happens, yes, he will probably defeat Wilder as well, defeat Fury, and become number one. But we'll see how the future goes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how the future goes. Do you, you want to yeah. do, do you want to see the water the water fight next? The RDBC are saying that I mean I heard from one of the RDBC members that they, that uh, Joshua should fight Water now that Water is vulnerable that if he really believes in himself if what if Joshua fights Water now and he knocks him out cold will will he get credit no he wouldn't no he'll he'll get credit he'll get credit all all what Wilder did was he had one defeat to Joseph Parker and he wasn't like he was getting punched around the ring and he was getting destroyed no. Just, um, Parker just did as much as he needed to get that victory. Wilder wasn't bashed up in that fight. So if Wilder can come back stronger, maybe he can put up a better effort against Joshua. But I would favor Joshua right now, just based on their trajectory. And I feel like the, the LDBC guys that said what they said, they are correct. Right now, Wilder is a little bit more vulnerable. Joshua is at the peak of his, you know, his confidence. This is the best time for him to get Wilder. Just like he said eight years ago, 
that I'm going to fight Wilder when I know I will beat Wilder. So he needs to do it right now. And again, I, we're not going to give him credit if he fights Wilder when Wilder is like 41. Bro, that, that just makes it look worse. Because Wilder be, is going to be 40 fight, years if old If he year. fights Wilder now, he will knock Wilder out cold. That I know. Now, let's see that happen. But well, let's see it happen. He also wouldn't get credit, bro. We don't get credit. We say, oh, the guy lost to Joseph Parker. You know, nah, nah, man. Wada should get two wins or, or big win on his on, on his on his resume. Now, he should get a big win, a big like maybe fight someone like maybe Jan Gile, for example. Yeah, the guy doesn't oh, win man. that much. It's a soft ball, ah. and Wada right hand will land. Parker, Parker landed a, a lot of punches on Janjale, but it didn't fall. It didn't uh, go down. Water will land on Janjale. Janjale doesn't move like that. But the first bro. three rounds, Water will have it hard. Bro, question. What is Wilder up to, man? Has he retired? No, man. Because <laughs> I don't even know what the guy is up he's to. Been, he's been, he's been um, you know, sleeping with his brother's wife. But that's another thing. <laughs> no, don't go there. <laughs> Well, don't go that, there bro that's what that's what's in the news now bro we, bro we'll talk about yeah. it like it's like crazy bro i, I saw it oh ah, man that's insane man man I it is what it is I don't, we'll talk about it <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay tuned guys we're gonna swing by right here we'll be right back cheers